Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am The Little Gamer and today we are carrying on with our My Time at Sundrock playthrough. Nia will be arriving today. I should go to the station to pick her up. So we are on a new day and we got our letter last episode that Nia was going to come and visit. Well, look who it is. I've really missed you. Let me see. All right, you seem fine. <laughs> That's a start. Have the sand bandits been caught yet? Were you scared back then? I mean, I think I would have been. Mm. What's taking them so long? Is this Logan guy really as nefarious and cunning as the papers say? <sighs> I hope he gets caught soon. I hope so. You know, if you're scared, you can tell me. I won't tease you. Too much. <laughs> but seriously, if you need to talk about it, I'm here for you. Phew, but it's great that you're all right. You don't know how relieved I am to see your face. And oh, look, look, I brought you a whole bunch of stuff. But take me to the famous Blue Moon Saloon first. I'm dying to try all that sand food. I'm absolutely starving. We can catch up while eating. I have so much to tell you. Oh, okay then. Mm, saloon it is. Ooh, so this is yak bell milk. I thought it would be gross, but it's actually deliciously good. Huh, it's kind of crazy. The first time I travel outside of Highwind and it's to Sand Rock of all places. After you left, I often find myself wondering about you, how your work is going, how you're dealing with the sandstorms, if you're happy, and so on. In my mind, I kind of built you up as this hero, coming to save Sandrock. Silly, isn't it? Hey, don't laugh! I'm serious! I subscribe to the Tumbleweed Standard, and I keep seeing your name pop up. You fix the moisture farm, beat the googlies, or whatever they're called, and even rebuilt a bridge. It's amazing. Your ma couldn't believe it. She kept saying, really, our child? Your pa even joked that there must be someone with the same name as you here. But they're really proud of you. They're just not used to us doing grown-up stuff, I guess. You've always been kind of foolhardy though, always running into things before thinking. So I guess it kind of makes sense for them to feel that way, right? <laughs> When you talk like that, it makes you sound so mature. You've really changed, you know. I mean, you're still you, but there's this air of reliability now. I guess I can't call you the idol master anymore. <laughs> Maybe when I finish school, I should also go somewhere else and expand my horizon. But I don't know, I tend to get lonely by myself. I'll probably be homesick by the second week. Us? <laughs> you're already becoming a sand rocker. Now you're all pistols and howdies, right? Look, I'm only staying in Sandrock for three days. Then I have to go back and take an exam. I have a little request though. Can you show me around town? I'd really appreciate the company. Oh, by the way, now that I'm finally here, anything you want to ask me? Should you ask a parent? You're doing really well. You don't have to worry. When I'm around, they talk about you and Sandrock all the time. They kept wondering if you're making any new friends, or getting enough sleep, or eating enough. I think they really miss you. Speaking of, your ma wrote a letter. You haven't gotten it yet? Wow, I really got here that fast. Studies. My studies are going really well, actually. I'm working like crazy to keep my grades up, though. Hey, are you growing any crops? I almost forgot that you're doing desert planting, right? It's so interesting. It uses completely unorthodox techniques 
That's kind of what I'm studying at the moment, unconventional farming methods. Professor Law, my master, is the lead researcher on these methods. Like, how can you increase yield and growth under the same conditions? Or even bringing crops back to life? But uh, his methods are still under development, so I'm bound to secrecy. Which reminds me, where is the moisture farm in Sandrock? I've heard a great many things about it, so I'm curious. If you're free tomorrow, could you go with me to take a look? Please, pretty please, with an apple cherry on top? Apple cherry? Oh, uh, so, I have one more question to ask. <laughs> I finally get to gossip with you. Are you in love? <laughs> Anyone you met in Sandrock that you like? Or... Maybe someone likes you? Oh, so we can romance her. Hmm. Same old, same old, huh? Still just focused on your work? Phew. I mean, not that I'm happy about that or anything. Oh, we got so caught up in talking, I completely forgot to give you your presents. Besides what your parents brought you, I brought you a couple as well. All right, I think we've talked enough already. Let's eat up. I think I'm gonna hit the hay a little early tonight. All right, you go do your builder stuff. I'm gonna get some rest. Ooh, presents, potato seeds, wind fried rice, and a Nia's, Nia's satchel. Defense points. We already have a lot of defense points. It's only going to give us eight. So, uh, this episode is obviously going to be all about Nia. Um, so, she's, so she's in for three days. Um, I suppose, depending on how much. her activities take. We may split split it into two. Definitely going to moisture farm tomorrow. Biopower generator no fuel. I only filled that up yesterday. So it looks like we've probably got to fill it up every day then. Check it, fill it up. Probably. Made supply time. Okay. It's going to be interesting then. We finally got our chromium steel bars. Which is good, so we should probably be able to finish our time capsule now. Uh let's let's put in a bunch of potatoes. So we don't forget. And we probably need to plant some more. Um, 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 um. There we go, there's our Canva. City Hall. It seems my time as acting mayor is coming to an end. Expect to get info about the fireside chats and other updates from Trudy from now on. Tomorrow we'll be having a fireside at the usual time to welcome her back. Okay. So that's tomorrow. Okay. So missions, missions. Let's mysterious benefactor and time capsule. We can do the time capsule and we should be able to now make Sandy's shoes. So they'll take an hour. Oh. And it's just there. Then what happened? Got everybody talking uh -huh. over each other. Meet the new box. Same as the old box. Or just as sturdy at least. Well done. I I'll bet this I thing would last a thousand years, you overachiever, yeah. you. I've got my stuff. Are you ready to go bury the box? Just give me your personal item and I'll put it in. Um, okay. 
where there is hmm. darkness. I yeah. guess that so could be more one. generous. Personal item. The light is so cool. Wish more people were around to hear that. So true. Oh yeah. That Help makes sense. Those less fortunate than you. Prepare the item. Oh, gift it, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. That makes sense. Where there is darkness, we are Let's the Let's do our axe, and then we can build a new one. Yes, we'll go over to Mount Rocket Sand. I found a place. I think there will more bother it. Let me know when you want to head out. Okay. Uh, oh, we'll go now then. You ready? All right, let's go. I guess I could. All right, this is the spot. I put our stuff inside. Mine included a few builder materials following in Hicks tradition. I also included some historical records, as well as some of the best literature we New World people have produced, including a copy of my favorite episode of Doyle Arthur. For my personal item, well, I thought it'd be good to take a picture of us together. I mean, because, well, it didn't seem fair not knowing what Hicks looked like. They should know what the two builders of Sandrock looked like. Otherwise, our story doesn't mean as much. Don't you think? Here, we can use my camera. Uh. Oh, there we go. Interesting part of Hicks's box. What should we write about? Good call. It's hard to believe that even after the end of the world, we still have some people who want to fight. What will it take for them to learn that fighting isn't the answer? Gosh, if there are still wars a hundred years from now, they're going to need a wake-up call from us. I'll write about that. <laughs> okay, everything's ready. Let's give our time capsule a proper send-off. Well, that's that. Hmm. I can only imagine one day there'll be other people opening up our time capsule, reading our letter, and being transported back to our time. How totally cool. I guess this is my way of telling to the world that I was here, that I existed, and I'm doing my best. Also, I put a latch on our box to make it way easier to open. Mm -hmm. Thanks again. It's so nice to have someone who shares my interests here in town. I'll let you know if I dig up anything else cool. Cool. Right, where are we? Oh, we're up here. We're out here. Interesting. Okay. What to do? What to do? So we got Mort and we got Flowers and Weeds side quest. I also want to start upgrading stuff I've got. So I want to try and make a. Uh, oh, I need a new axe now. An iron axe, and there's the chromium axe. So petrified wood, which I don't know where we get yet. Civil processor. 
And we need sharpening stones anyway. And I need a new weapon, really. Um, but we've finished making the shoes, so we can give that in to Arvio. Wonderful. I'll distribute these to the pets of Sandra early tomorrow morning. Take a look around when you wake up. As it turns out, though, it isn't exactly practical to make shoes for cats. Camels either, for that matter. Hmm. Nova, do you think it was right for us to do something so incredibly pointless? For someone who will never even see what we did. And even if they did, they probably wouldn't even care that much. We did it because we have integrity. I guess it was a waste of time. I don't care as long as I get my pay. I'm excited. The pets will have shoes too. Really? <laughs> well, now I feel more justified in fulfilling Tony's strange request. If we made one person happy, then that makes it all worthwhile, doesn't it? Alright then, Nova. As I said, I'll try and get the shoes on the pets by tomorrow. Who knows, maybe Tony will find out about this. Cool. We better head up for uh, here, flowers and weeds. Hello. I see you working hard to bring Telesis to Sandrock Nova, which is wise and noble. Care to join me in tending to the garden for a while? It won't take long. The people here simply don't understand how important the light is, and to keep the light, we have to maintain the earth. You know how to tend a garden, right? Gardening is not just for the eyes, but for the soul. I expected you would understand. You're a bright one. I wish, wish Burgess could take after you. He is very attentive, but naive. I fear he could easily falter with the wrong influence. Hmm. I know you have an understanding of planting at the least. Here, take these seeds and help me plant some flowers. First. As with society, we must root out the weeds. Let's start with these ones here. Okay, weeding and planting. We can do weeding and planting. Mm -hmm. Very good. I speak often of duty to the light, but also to oneself and society. Sandrock's citizens have an, have an interesting interpretation of that. All this yak boy talk, gunslinging and wayward behaviour, it's at odds with what I believe. Now I understand that there's always that bit of nuance in everything, but in this fleeting world of ours we have to hold on to something. For me, that's having an orderly society with actual rules that don't bend. Capricious, capricious society was what got the old world into trouble. I'm afraid the mayor and the minister are continuing Sandrock's hodgepodge development that led it to its current state in the first place. It's futile. You hold great optimism. That is an admirable thing. With the weeds gone, now we can plant. Just planting flowers. Excellent, you are a deft hand at this. Sometimes we must question, are we the weeds or are we the flowers? To maintain a delightful and healthy garden, we must tear out the weeds to replace them with something beautiful. Those unwanted, uncaring, untoward must be torn asunder and replaced with purity. Now come, we must also tend to the other side. First, the weeds. Okay. Huh. I like the aesthetic that these these bushes have still got snow on them because they're not in the sun. Hmm. The age of corruption. Do you know much about much of it? I typically 
perfectly arrogant understanding, I thought better of you. The world back then had technological supremacy, disease, ailment, hunger, issues we face daily did not exist. So how did such a society fall? Hubris? No, it was not hubris. It was the disorganisation, a divided world that caused the day of calamity. This is where my philosophy differs a bit from that of the church. I believe that high technology has nothing to do with if we'll go down the same path as our ancestors. Our current level of scientific know-how is more than enough to kill us all. What we need is a guiding hand. That's why this church is so critical. We must maintain a constant vigil to ward against this disorderliness. Shine the light, so to speak. That is my duty. Another round of seeds? Okay. That's the typical thing, it's not the tech, it's how you use it, isn't it? Very good, you have done the church a service builder, thank you. <laughs> Look at that, it's, isn't that much better? Those dirty, disgusting weeds replaced with these beautiful seeds. Seeds which will grow into a new and brilliant garden. Keep in mind what I've said today, Builder. Are you a flower or a weed? Here, please take these with you. Let their growth remind you of what it takes to maintain a healthy society. Mountain road seeds. So those were the ones that Burgess gave us. We've now got to check on more... This is a photo I'd hoped most we'd be able to find. This, of course, is our wedding day. Everything was perfect then. Never was there a more picture-perfect model of Telesis than on that day. We all shared that oasis. Not one of us was wanting. And as our little camp grew in numbers, so too did our family. That day, we thought we'd chosen a fate to live forever in paradise. Let's just say, it's hard for me to believe in that old light doctrine. Everything happens for a reason. Thank you. Mm. It's, uh, difficult. Mm. You can make... Mm. You can make any situation. Mm. A learning one. Take her easy. But everything happens for a reason is not not how life works. Um right then. We need to build a new axe. As well, I was going to build a chromium one, but it says we need petrified wood, and I haven't found petrified wood, and that's probably what we need the cat the axe for. But I don't know where to find it, so that is gonna cause problem. Um, so are we iron axe? Here we go. Outstanding. We also need a better weapon. That's what I need. Better weapon. So let's have a look in here. So that's what we've already got. A bronze spear. So we want to make iron. So we need some more wood from the processor. Helicona nails. So we should be able to make those. These ones, hardwood sticks. We're gonna need more hardwood. So I might grind that while we wait for the hardwood sticks to finish. Mm. 
Okay, two hardwood sticks done. So let's make ourselves a iron spear. We could do a sword and shield, I suppose. It doesn't use opals. We will do a sword and shield, sword and shield then. Switched up a bit. So we want to swap out. Um, where'd it go? I'm blind. Oh, it's making. It's crafting. I was blind. Very much blind. Okay. Um, right, I'm gonna wait for that to finish then and then we'll move on to tomorrow. Um, to show near around, um, should be fun. I've never seen you around. Did you come here to see good old Yan? Are you Mr. Yan, the builder's boss? It's actually President Yan. <laughs> but yes, you're not wrong. So, you're the builder's friend? Good, good. Are you by chance interested in becoming a builder here? It's fun, it's enriching, and you could get to work with a friend. I might even be able to move some numbers around and squeeze out a budget for an extra workshop. So, what do you say? Why don't you and I go inside for a little powwow, hmm? Hey, look who I found. It's President Yan. He even suggested I try out as a builder. <laughs> well, it's always a pleasure to show off my commerce skill, especially to such a beautiful young lady. <laughs> Thank you very much. Builder, why are you shouting? We at the Commerce Guild are the epitome of etiquette. What am I gonna do, scam her? <laughs> Don't be absurd. When you and Mian arrived in Sandrock, didn't I welcome you like a warm summer breeze? If President Yan is being this friendly, who am I to refuse? <laughs> a devil! A devil, I say! What's wrong? President Yan, why are you crying? I thought we had such an enlightening conversation. Don't, don't let me see this girl again. <laughs> Builder, you, you, just keep her away from me. What did she do to him? Well, that was certainly a fun conversation for me. <laughs> Were you worried about me just now? It's fine, I can handle myself. Now, I'm gonna go explore a little more. See you later. I'd say poor Yan, but he was being a creep. <laughs> great dream too. Decided to come pick you up myself this morning. <laughs> Feels like when we were kids and I'd come get you for school. Hey, let me see your workshop. What's it like? Not bad, not bad. Did you build these machines yourself? And wow, that assembly station is way bigger than the one you had back home. Hey, I've an idea. You've been away so long, everyone's forgotten what you look like already. Let's take a photo together to show the folks in Highwind. Yeah! All right, don't pull any stupid faces though, okay? I want to keep it with me. Let's do a cool pose. Say cheese! Okay. Cool pose. Is that it? Two poses. At least I can see the facial expressions better. Smile it is. Not bad, not bad. It's actually a pretty good shot. When I get back, I'll show it to your parents. I'm sure they'll be proud to see your workshop. All right, I'm gonna tell you our plan for today, okay? That way you won't get worried when you can't find me. I'm visiting the moisture farm later. You know, it's actually really famous. 
Professor Law has even mentioned it in class before. I think I might be able to learn a thing or two. If you're not busy, maybe you can come with me? All right, I'm gonna head over there now. When you're done with your busy work, come find me, okay? I want to show you all the cool botany stuff I've learned at school. Okay. So they're all hangouts, we're not gonna do those. Left from Ma. Oh, here we go, here's a letter she's talked about. How are you? We all read about the bandit attack on the water tower. We were so worried, Nia's worried about you too. She's already on her way to Sandrock to see you. Has she arrived yet? Make sure you pick her up from the station. Don't be rude. Your pa and I wanted to come and see you, but we thought Nia would be better. Don't want a couple of old fogies like us cramping your style. Remember to make time for Nia when she arrives. Take a vacation and show her around. It's the least you can do. Oh, and her ma wanted a sand jujuba cake. So make sure she comes back with one. Thanks. Give us some high wind fried rice and Amara. Do you have a moment I would like to request your help? I'm making a couple of gifts for my friends, Heidi and Pablo. Could you make two fragrant satchels for me, please? Simple and refined would be fine. They don't need to be anything fancy. Okay. Pet harvest results. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking whether to do her quest, uh, the moisture farm now or next episode. I'm thinking we'll do it. We'll do it now, shall we? Let's switch up our sword and shield. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, we'll do the moisture farm now. Um, and then we'll probably leave that there for this episode. And then we'll check out the fireside chat and Nia's departure um, in the next episode and do all these side quests that seem to have popped up again. That spaceship model keeps making us friends and I'm like, I don't need that many friends. Not all in a row. Besides wheat, we also have pomato. Look, they're over there. In the beginning, we really struggled with sand hoppers. It took a few generations to breed something that could withstand them. That really is a long process. We were also cultivating tomatoes in one of our experimental greenhouses last semester. I had the highest yield of tomatoes, but the potatoes it produced, it must have had something to do with the soil. Hello, I was just talking to your friend here. Ah, you're here. Mr. Zeke was just showing me around the moisture farm. He said you repaired the hydrogel. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zeke, Professor Law said that if you want to grow bigger and juicier tomatoes, you need to control the irrigation temperature. If the temperature gets too low, it's not conducive to proper absorption of nutrients. Interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, and just call me Zeke. I just remembered the little greenhouses you used to make me. I planted some banana berries there. They turned out delicious. So, so sweet. Ah, I'm sorry. My mind likes to jump around a lot. I just say what pops into my head. The builder used to call me Goldfish because of it. I understand. It's nice to find someone with a similar love of botany. What about you? Do you like planting here? Mm. All right, expert. Since <laughs> you're so high and mighty, let's do a little test. Mm, I'm First fail. question. Which tool is necessary for planting in the desert? Uh, a grid shovel. Hmm, that's right. Next, what kind of produce can't be grown in the desert? Um. That's right. It's really hard to grow lettuce and sand rock. Lettuce and many other crops need sticky and moist soil. Although most of the free cities can grow them, it's a real struggle in sand rock. But don't give up. I'm sure in the future, breakthroughs will be made, and we'll be enjoying Sandrock lettuce. 
rock lettuce. Hmm. Oh, I didn't trip you up at all. If I had known, I'd have prepared more difficult questions. You should see the questions on our tests. Two questions is more than enough. But if I'm honest, your answers kind of show that you really do care for your crops. I'm proud of you. Planting is actually a super interesting and deep study. Different plants need to be cared for in different ways. I still have a lot to learn myself. Oh, by the way, Miss uh, Zeke, I have something to ask you. These are the raspberry seeds cultivated by our school. The school heard I was coming to Sandrock and asked me to give these seeds to you. The teachers are curious about how these seeds will grow in a desert greenhouse. If it all goes well, maybe you'll be eating raspberries soon. Thank you. I'll accept this on behalf of Sandrock. Let's grow this together. Hmm. Oh, we gotta plant them. Okay. So maybe we'll uh, learn how to build a greenhouse soon then. Although we're probably going to need a lot more space for that. Alright, that's all of them. Thank you for your seeds, Nia. Thank you too, Zeke. I learned a lot today. Now, you two take care. I need to go take care of some crops. That was really great. I learned a lot. I need to go and write a report for school. Gosh, I have so many ideas right now. When I was hanging out with you, I really felt like I'd been here for years. If I'm honest, I kind of want to stay a little longer. Well, yeah. I wish I knew when I could come back. Well, thanks for coming with me today. I'm not going to hold you up any longer. I'll see myself around town. I kind of want to see the sights. I'm leaving early tomorrow morning after all. Cool. So, planted some raspberries, level up 230. Farming moisture complete. Right, okay then. So, we are going to leave this episode here. Um, so, we've met Nia, which is wonderful. Um, next episode then, we've got the fireside chat with Trudy, our first one with Trudy. Uh, and then we will probably push through and see Nia off uh, tomorrow morning on her way home. Um, but either way, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please can you do all the things like subscribe, comment, ring the bell for more content. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye!